So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, here in the first issue, it just shows how he kind of got his powers. Uh, it's kind of a goofy little story where his friend and uh, Josiah King, who is Captain Absolutely, uh, work in the library. He's trying to... Uh, I think he's trying to update the Dewey Decimal System. Yeah, upgrade the Dewey Decimal System. So, anyway, he ends up dropping sunflower seeds, uh, and there's a little note alluding to the story in Mark, the parable in Mark, uh, about the scattering of seeds and everything like that, and how one seed can grow into a powerful tree. And, uh, you know, that, that story, if you haven't read it, you should go read Mark. For. Uh, but anyway, he drops some seeds, his computer goes nuts, and for some reason, um, it causes an explosion, and the computers run on nuclear power, and it goes kaboom, and he gets caught in the explosion, and that's how he gets his powers. I wish I had the next uh, issue right after this so you could see um him getting his costume and everything but i didn't i don't have that one um i got these that focus on the family like oh gosh i think this one's from yeah september 2012 so a long time ago um we never subscribed to the actual magazine um they would just have um back issues that focus on the family so when we would go there we would always check out which ones they had and pick them up because they were free so uh Ended up with some cool ones, but definitely not the complete story. So that's issue one. And then I also have these. They have uh, more stories of Captain Absolutely. Um, I think these are from a couple years after, yeah, 2015. Uh, and they actually switched from Focus on the Family Clubhouse Magazine to Adventures in Odyssey Clubhouse Magazine. So that's... It's kind of interesting. So uh, I thought the, the story was uh, pretty cool in this one. Uh, the Bible has been banned from uh, libraries by the government. And this lady's mom was thrown in jail because she uh, was reading the Bible or brought it into the, li the library or something like that. Again... I'm, I just have bits and pieces because I didn't, you know, have the whole subscription. Um, but yeah, it, it's a good story. Uh, lots of uh, allusions to the Bible here. So um, that's pretty cool uh, here in the next one. Actually, these two uh, are one right after the other. So um, let's see. This guy, I think, uh, yeah, this guy is the, is the same guy as him. So after, I guess he gets affected by the explosion too, and ah, <laughs> turns into uh, Dr. Relativity, I think is what his name was. Um, yeah, Dr. Relative. And this guy's name is uh, da, 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 Unifier. So for some reason, Unifier is a bad guy. Um, and it looks like he was, he's this guy over here. And he has some kind of powers. So anyway, that is my collection of uh, Christian... <laughs> Christian comic material. Um, here's the Captain Absolutely stuff. Here's the Bible. And the Action Bible. Plus devotional. So, yeah. There you go. Um, oh, one more thing about this. Uh, Captain Absolutely is from the radio show Adventures in Odyssey. If you didn't know that, I forgot some people might not know what Adventures in Odyssey is. It's a Christian radio show 
produced by Focus on the Family. This guy is a character in there. His name's Wooten Bassett. He's like uh, a comic book nerd and he writes comics and he created Captain Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, that's his costume and Captain Absolutely defending truth, justice, and lots more truth. So that's a fun episode. I think it's volume 52, episode three, something like that, if you want to go check it out. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.